Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. We are back in American Truck Simulator once again. We are doing something a little different today. So this video I originally actually recorded as a no commentary video. That was kind of the plan. And then a lot happened. So I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and do a voiceover instead. And I will admit, I'm going to kind of peel the curtain back a little bit here. I have recorded a video and done a voiceover before but I pretended like it wasn't a voiceover so still to this day nobody's pointed it out but there is a video that I've recorded previously that that was actually a voiceover and I didn't acknowledge it but obviously today I am acknowledging it so we're gonna do this a little different I'm essentially going to kinda tell you guys what the plan is or what's about to to happen or kinda go on and then I'll let you just kind of enjoy the truck sound so it's kinda gonna be essentially a mix of a commentary video and a commentary free video which again I have done that before as well I I think but this one's gonna be a little bit different cuz it's a voiceover the other one that I did it was like commentary live and silence for a mix but again this one's gonna be a voiceover so enough talking first thing we're doing is driving over to the fuel station cuz I gotta get some fuel and once we do that then we'll continue on with our trip fueled up and ready to get back on the road we have got a load of gravel today that is going from Ukiah where we are currently at the at the time to Santa Cruz so we end up going through uh, San Francisco and a couple other places that I hadn't really seen yet uh, as, as far as the rework goes so it's a fun trip let's go ahead and get to enjoying the truck sounds and of course, by enjoying the truck sounds, I mean enjoy the sound of me grinding gears and misshifting, because that happens a lot in this video. There's something I don't know here, but I thought this was kind of funny that it looks like a food grade tanker is at the fuel station, supposedly helping fuel it up. I don't know. Maybe maybe the devs like made that to to be that he broke down there, but uh, I don't know. That really looked like they were using a food grade tanker to to fill up the the tanks at the <laughs> fuel station. So I thought that one was kind of funny.
So California is obviously a land of many hills and many mountains. And this was kind of my first trip with a manual, like driving, driving manual in the game, where I had to deal with a lot of hills and had to deal with those hills in a low horsepower truck. So, well, let's just say it doesn't go super well. And this is the first taste of that, essentially. You'll hear me misshift maybe a time or two, I think. I can't exactly remember at the moment, but I know it doesn't go super smooth. <laughs> about the point where I think I decided I probably was going to have to do a voiceover for this video or something because this is just weird. Yep, that's right. The truck just disappears. And the vehicles behind it don't. No other vehicles disappear. It's not like a, a fine wall. Just that one truck just disappeared and then the trailer disappeared and then that was that. So I don't know what happened there why that truck disappeared and no other AI did and why yeah I don't I don't understand but super super weird and I got a good laugh out of it <laughs> so I wanted to make sure I pointed it out so that you guys can get a good laugh out of it too Right here, the game decided to give me the true California driving experience when... Yep, a Tesla cuts me off to make sure that they make their exit. <laughs> I guess to be fair though, I did also have to get over to make my exit, or not exit, I guess, so we'll just call it even. At this point, we're obviously coming into San Francisco, and I will say I've driven in San Francisco in a manual car in real life, and it was a very unpleasant experience. But little did I know coming in here that it would be just as much of an unpleasant experience in a video game, in a truck. So, a little bit of foreshadowing for you. <laughs> And 
here is where the misery begins. So if this kind of stuff is hard for you to watch because you hate people watching people misshift and hearing them grinding the gears and stuff, then you're probably going to want to skip a little bit ahead because this is brutal. I, I will admit I forgot that there's a low gear, so I struggle trying to get up this hill in first for a little bit. Uh, obviously it all started because I misshifted trying to, to downshift to get up this hill. But uh, yeah, I do lots of stalling. I try to use the parking brake and then get the RPMs up and launch that way. I try to just absolutely dump the clutch. That doesn't work. And I, I guess I'll just let you see the rest. But that's kind of my explanation of what happens here. At this point I started to lose air pressure on the brakes so uh, obviously you can also see I have already very much crashed into vehicles behind me it was a mess so I decided to give up on trying to continue up the hill from the middle of it I just backed down caused a lot of chaos destroyed all the cars behind me but it at least let me get a fresh start and a fresh run up on the hill but uh, yeah definitely not the ideal situation
wish that the last time I talked to you guys, I would have been able to finish it with, and that's all you'll be hearing from me, because that would mean that the rest of the trip went smoothly. However, obviously, here I am again. So, I come up to this intersection here and was not really paying attention to the GPS, I just knew I needed to make a right turn somewhat soon, and just made the right turn in the wrong place instead. I did not pay attention at all, so I had to make like a U-turn, it brought me down a weird road with invisible roads and stuff. I didn't have to actually have to drive on any of the invisible roads, but I basically went somewhere that I definitely was not supposed to go. Here, I actually had to pause the game and quit my or sorry, quit the game and pause my recording. I almost said that backwards. So that's why there's suddenly no longer a car in front of me at this intersection. I just wanted to explain that real quick.
here we are pulling into our delivery location so that means that this is time for voiceover drew to head out I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like the voiceovers or just have any sort of feedback on this type of video please let me know because like I said this is my first time doing something like this so whether you loved it hated it whatever please comment let me know what you think I would love to know if this is something I should do again or if something if it's something I should never do again uh, again any sort of feedback is really appreciated and if you did make that make it this far that is also very greatly appreciated thank you so much for watching all the way through really really do appreciate it I appreciate all the support on the channel lately I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully I will see you in the next one please make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you then peace <laughs>